All right, there's a nice looking school of bait. That will probably do me. I've only just pulled up here. Um, you can sort of see the sun has not started to come up yet. I'm just having a bit of a look around, having a sound around, and like within the first two minutes, I've come across this big cloud of bait, so I'm gonna anchor up on that. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. There's a lot of bait coming up with a light on the water. There's a lot of bait fish coming up to the back of the boat here and just skipping around. Um, it's all come up off the bottom. Look at that. The bottom is thick with bait and that up there I'd say is probably a decent mark. So there's tons of bait. I've got a soft plastic out this side here. It's a, uh, I think it's a dollar bait junkie, a pink one. Now this side here, I've got my standard half a muley. The goal is just to get myself a feed for dinner. Um, one fish, I'm more than happy with that. Sun is just starting to break the horizon now. It's not prime time yet, but I'll be about probably five or 10 minutes away from it. Oh. Uh, soft plastics into the bottom hard ways. Did I get it back? I think I got it back. Almost lost my soft plastic there. She was in the bottom. Hanging out that way. I'm on a bit of a ledge here and the ledge runs. So I can, I, it's hard to see because it's still dark, but I'm pretty sure I'm sitting right on the ledge because the sound is swinging from 10 meters to 13, 10 to 13. So pretty sure I'm sitting right on the ledge and I can kind of see the dark outline of the edge here. I'm pretty much exactly where I want to be. I want the burly to sort of be going along the edge here. The bigger fish will be patrolling the back edge, um, swimming their way along the back edge. But I want my burly to sort of be going onto the top and off into the deep water at the same time. So, And if there's going to be any jewfish around, they're going to be right on the back of that ledge. That's where they tend to live, is right in the back. Oh, oh that just got a slappies. Oh, yeah, that's little picky pinkies. Little picker pinkies. Come on, be bigger. Something's on it. Something's pecking. Yeah, got him. Yeah, small pink snapper. Why is there so many of these small ones around lately? Says Scott, as he hasn't even seen it yet, but he's just making the call. Correct. No, 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 no. Come back this way. There you go. He's under size. That hook will just come out of him perfectly. Beautiful little fish. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that in that in the colour of the sun there. It's beautiful. Perfect little blue spots. See you mate, off you pop. I'll go with a slightly bigger one here. It's just sort of the tail piece of the, of the herring. Whack that out. Big snapper aren't scared of a big bait. Oh, there's a couple of good marks. They're actually reading just under the boat. I'm only gonna just drop this straight down. I'm not even gonna cast this one out. I'm just gonna drop this. Because there's some big marks reading sort of like right 
underneath the boat here. Just let that waft down with the burly. Oh! Wow. Yeah, that just got hit. Exactly like I said, I wafted it down on the burly. I think there's still a bit of bait left on there. I'm just going to leave that for a second. I'll just let that waft oh, straight down underneath the boat. And that just got pegged. Come back. Those fish, I can see them on the side of they're hanging just like right here on top of the ledge. I'm just going to leave that bait there because I reckon that will get hit in a second there. Whatever that was might come back for it. I don't think he felt the hook that badly. Here he is. He's back. Whoa. Good fish. Oh. I wish I had a... Well, this is a solid fish. I wish I had showed you those arches on the sound. I, oh, wow. I could just see them. They were like hanging right underneath the boat. Oh. If I, no, oh, I thought I just dropped him there. Nasty. Okay, now this rod's going to be my way now. I'll get that out of the way over here. Oh, he is in the rocks. I can feel him in the reef. That's not feeling good at all. I don't like that at all, dude. Oh, he is in the rocks. I'm not liking this. Come out of there, please. And this is the downside to fishing right on top of a ledge. Oh, he's in the rocks. Come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out. What's going on? Oh, I think I've dropped him, eh? I think he's gone. He's gone. Oh, I just got smoked. What just happened? I just got told. I feel like that might have been a Samson fish by the way it ran. And the way it went straight into the rocks like that, that's nasty. What have I got left? Well, there's my knot. Look, I've still got a bit of leader left on there. There's my knot. And that much leader, look, it's just pinged off in the rocks. Damn it! Oh well, at least that was a run for the morning. Let's see if I get another one out there. Cut this leader off. Don't throw your leftover bits of light in the water, guys. Put them in a the boat, save them for later. Put them in a bin when you get home. Sizzled! Touch, touch, touch. Eat. Yeah, fish on. Oh, all I was doing was checking that bait there. Took a couple of wines up off the bottom. And it got smacked. This, I feel like this one might be a snapper. This could be the fish I came for, actually. It could be just a nice eating size one. That was that manky piece of herring I had out here. Oh, crikey, he's putting in. Oh, he might be size, he might be just on. I feel like he could be just about size. Oh, smack me in the balls, dog. Stand still, stand still, and we'll be friends here. Spiky man. He's 52. 
there you go. He's 52 centimeters, perfect eating size fish. He'll be coming home with me, thank you. Here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm back in. Decent fish here again. Oh, he's going back in the rocks again. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, this one feels a bit more controllable than that first one. That first one was just big and angry. This one feels like manageable on this 20 pound gear. This one could potentially be a snapper, I think. The first one was not. See how it's run out of steam now, it's done like that first good run. And now it kind of runs out of steam, that's typical snapper. A Samson fish will run, stop, and then it'll run again, and then it'll stop, and then it'll run again. A snapper have only got like one or two decent runs in them, and then they kind of run out of smoke. Yeah, this one's a pinky. Oh, he's not bad. You're not bad. Oh, I'm going to net him. I'm definitely going to want the net. Beautiful. Ah, Mr. Pink, in you come. There you go. He's got that owner. That owner SSW, you can see that. Right there in his jaw, I nearly lost him there. Nearly threw him over the threw him over the side there. That wasn't ideal. Good one, Scott. There you go. He's perfect. Another perfect eating size snapper. Alright, I've already got that one fish that I wanted. All I needed for my dinner is one fish, so this guy can go back. Uh, Hopefully go back to breed for the future. He'll swim off easily though, off he goes. Whoop, off you pop. Oh, that's it, I'm getting out of here. I got what I wanted, I got the fish I came for. Um, I'm just putting holes in fish for no reason now, so time to go. Um, I'm more than happy, I got a good run this morning, which was um, cool, always love to lose a bit of line, even if I don't land it, it's always just good fun to hook something really big. Caught the fish I came for, got my dinner one perfect um, pink snapper and that second one which I just put back there. Um, more than happy to let him go. Um, I only needed one fish so that's all I'm going to take today. So I'm going to get out of here. If you like my videos stay tuned and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Thanks for watching.